All right, what's up, guys? So today we're gonna to be doing a little comparison between the MTB Pro and the LTB Bass XL. All right, so what we're gonna be doing? We're gonna open up the box. We're gonna see the baits. We're gonna tell you a little bit about the baits, what we think about them. Uh, we're also gonna tell you which one we thought was the best bait out of both boxes, as well as which box was better as a whole. So let's get to it. So, this is what we're looking at right now. I'm going to pull out the little bait card. All right. You want me to go first? Oh, nice. oh, dang, yeah, Lunker Hunt sticker. All right. Funny story. Uh, a few years ago, I actually caught one of the biggest pickerel I've ever caught in my life. And uh, I sent a little email to Lunker Hunt. And... I told them, you know, that their frogs were great because that's what I caught it on. And they sent me some decals, some Lunker Hunt decals. It wasn't that exact one, but they sent me about six of them. It's pretty sweet. So <laughs> I like Lunker Hunt quite a bit. Um, so I'm guessing there's a Lunker Hunt bait in there somewhere. All right. So I guess I'll start off. So what we got first is the Lucky Craft Pointer retails at $15.99. That's a lot. Lucky Craft. They're great lures. Um, they're well made. They're just super expensive, so I don't own a lot of them. But I do know about this one. This is a, basically a jerk bait, but their 95 is the silent version. It's a little bit smaller than their original 100. And this one looks like a little shad color, like a sexy shad color. Oh, they call it the ghost threadfin shad. But um, a little chartreuse, a little blue. And also, these little weights on the bottom, I know, are supposed to help it keep suspended without floating. And then, they also have a nice shine in them. So that's awesome. Awesome, awesome bait. Alright, next, so we got the Strike King Red Eye Shad. Oh, the Two Tap Tungsten Red Eye Shad. So this is Strike King's newer lipless crankbait they had. Uh, they had the original Red Eye Shad that people love. People go crazy over this thing. I was actually a uh, rattle trap person. But people swore by these Red Eye Shad. I still haven't used them, but I'm very excited to try. And this is I know this is their updated one, the two tap. They have two tungsten balls in here that make that thud sound. And this looks like a some sort of a, a brim or, or bluegill pattern. I guess I should be looking at that too. Orange brim, okay. Um, so that's an awesome, another awesome bait. The reason people swear that these work better than the original rattle trap, you know, the classic rattle trap lipless crankbait, is because of the profile. Because I know a lot of you'll know on that rattle trap, it has that really, really pointed nose and real sleek design. And whenever you stop that bait, instead of fluttering down that bait nose dives straight down so yo-yo on the bait really isn't that great ripping it through grass bringing it across the the grass mats is great but whenever it comes to stopping it and yo-yoing off the bottom it's not that great and this is what striking has done they made a lipless crankbait that flutters on the way down so you can yo-yo this in the colder weather so this is a great all year round bait and then you rip it up off the grass bring it down and it should flutter so, again, another great bait in this mystery tackle box. So, next we got the Roadrunner Swimming Runner that retails at $6.99. So, I mean, this is again one of the, I mean, this is like an older bait. It's just an underspin. Another great bait. I mean, this, this bait works all year round, small profile. It's a little swim bait on a underspin. Jig head. To be honest, I don't really know if this would retail at six ninety nine because I used to buy these for like three bucks. But a little shad pattern, just silver and white. It's another great bait though. It works. They work awesome. All right, so let's move on. Now we have the net bait mini bee bug. 
So here they are right here. And actually they look like they're an Okeechobee Craw color. Now, Okeechobee Crawl, instead of black and blue, they're a green pumpkin and blue. And they have like a licorice scent to them. They feel pretty nice. They're not too tough, not too soft. But this is what we're looking at. So you got the blue side and the green side. Whenever I was a kid, whenever I was fishing in one of the ponds back home in Texas, all I had, I had a green pumpkin spinner bait and I had a blue swim bait. And I put that blue swim bait on there, and even though I didn't think it was going to work, it was just all I had, and I like putting trailers on my spinner baits. And I threw it out there, and man, I couldn't stop catching fish on that color. And I thought I came across something huge. I was like, man, I bet nobody knows about putting blue on green pumpkin. I didn't know if it was a fluke or what. But then I went and looked it up, and it was a big thing all along. A lot of bass, like pro bassmen, they freaking love this. This Okeechobee crawl color, blue and green pumpkin. And so I use that a lot. I actually like it a little bit better than black and blue. Um, some people may disagree with me, but it works better the way I fish. So next up we have the Catchco Gator Hog. So this is what the package looks like. It's just a brush hog. They just name it something a little different, I guess, because this is... I think the Catchco Mystery Tackle Box works with in design, designing baits. Man, they stink. I can tell you that much. I just opened it up and it smells like rotten shrimp. Good Lord. But um, this is what they look like. Like I said, just a ordinary looking brush hog, which should work. I mean, brush hogs are known fish catchers, and that looks like a watermelon red color. It's exactly what it is. All right. And last but not least, oh, actually there's two more. I apologize. Got the Carolina Rig Kit. So this is pretty cool. I've, I've never used a Carolina Rig before. Um, I've seen it a lot. A lot of people say it's really good. Um, I just, to be honest, it's a lot of work to hook it up, to rig it. And I don't really have time for that. I'm going to try it out, though, because, I mean, I'm, I wasn't going to go out of my way to get stuff to make a Carolina Rig. But tell us what you think about it, because I'm really curious. I want to know if they actually work or not. All right, and that retails at three dollars. And uh, also, sorry, the mini bee bug retails at four twenty-five, and the gator hogs retail at two ninety-nine. All right. So next, this is the last one. We got Sticky's offset worm hooks. So you got this little paper pouch. I guess they're uh, environmental friendly company. Yeah, printed on recycled paper. There we go. Um, it's a three-pack. With a name like Stickies, I would expect these things to be extremely sharp. Let's see, they're very skinny. They ain't that sharp. They're not that sticky. So, Stickies, you need to make your hooks a little more sticky. They ain't that sharp. But, I mean, I'm sure they'll work on just a smaller bait. Those brush hogs or those mini or those bee bugs. I mean, they'll, they'll probably work on those. And... Cool little uh, sticker, the Stickies Company logo. So that's all that came in this month's MTB Pro box. Actually, a really, really good box. I actually liked a lot, a lot of baits that I, I'm familiar with and I like using. Um, that said, my favorite has got to be the Lucky Craft jerk bait, the pointer. Just because I, I know these catch fish. I know a lot of people that use these. I'm very familiar with them. And they, they're they just awesome. Awesome, awesome baits. I guess I'm done with mine. Let's see what you got over there, bud. Alright, so now we're going to get on to the LTB Bass XL box. So first off, we have the... Uh, oh, you called it. Lunker Hut Prop Fish. It's the uh, Prop Series. But actually, I cast award-winning lure. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I might have one to give you a run for your money over there. Yeah, I know Lunker Hunt wins the iCast uh, awards quite often, especially with their hollow body frogs, ones that had like the realistic legs. And uh, I believe they won it with their Link series as well, but I'm not too fond of that. I tried their Links. Alright, it's hollow body. 
Got a nice little prop on there. Let's see if you can see that. It's got a wide gap hook on the back. It's definitely like a bluegill. Yeah, bluegill pattern. So that's a pretty nice one. I'm, I'd actually coming up here soon. I'd be looking forward to using this. But yeah, I'm a little jealous. Yeah, top water. I like those. We actually go to a lake that's got a lot of uh, pads on top. So this would probably be really yeah. good to use on it. Some braiding. Right, next up, we got the uh, the Roadrunner. Didn't didn't you get a Roadrunner in yours? Yeah, I sure did. Got the Roadrunner Casey's Classic Runner. Let's see, where's my package? Where's my package at? Oh, here it is. All right. it looks that like, looks like the same person, but they no have different one, names. You yeah, got Randy, man. Randy, and Casey. Yeah. Uh, this is mine right here, but I got the the actual swim baits with it. But I don't know. They look like the same person. This says it's Randy Al. Your says Casey <laughs> Ashley. Casey Ashley. That's interesting. Okay. It's a quarter ounce. Yeah. I guess um, Mister and Lucky had uh, some conversations or something. It says you can't fish a road runner wrong as long as you fish it slow. Let's see if you can see that there. I've actually never used anything like this. Uh, looking forward to using it coming up here soon. Yeah. Might be good just to toss in there and put it on fun. some of them uh, them beds. See if yeah. you can make some of them fish mad, get it to bite. Yeah. So on the next one, we got the uh, Biowa. Potate. <laughs> Looks like some leeches or something. Let's open them up. It's got like a spot for your hook. Oh man, that smells terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'd be good for like a like a Nedrick. Get on to the next one. Actually, I'm not. If any of y'all have ever fished anything like this, please leave a comment below because I'd like to know like how y'all fished it. Yeah, because I, I've never used a Ned Rig either, and uh, I know that's exactly what those are going to be used for. I bet you there's probably one in here. Yeah, let's see. Next up, we got some. I guess they gave me some gummies or something neat on the water. That's what that <laughs> looks like. It's a. Uh, it's a bass, bass Crasher swim bait. Let's open these up and see what they are. Those definitely look like <laughs> something you'd be. Looks like it'd be something they're eating them on the water or something. It's got like little joints on it or something. Help it. Yeah. Okay. No, nah, those actually just smell like. Smell like yeah. This would actually probably be pretty good to use as like a trailer. For like a spinner bait or like a like a jig. Yeah. They're definitely interesting. Yeah. I'd eat them. <laughs> I get. I mean, they look like they'd be good to eat. Yeah. Probably need to keep these away from my kid. Yeah. They say relax. Okay. Uh. It says it's tournament tested and angler approved. <laughs> okay. Actually says there's a it's got a target species on here. It's bass, saltwater, trout, crappie, and walleye. Just a saltwater though. Like. Yeah, saltwater trout. So you got you looking at like speckled trout and some sandies and stuff. I can see how that works. They bite about anything yeah. that moves. So. All right, so on. Uh, yeah, we got the Ned jig head and ultra lock worm hook. Right there. Nothing too special about it. I've actually never used a, a Ned rig. Ned jig. Have you? I mean, I don't know. No, that's what I was telling them. Yeah, I, I never used one. So, yeah, please. I mean, if you got a picture of a fish you caught on or you got like a little video you can share with us or if you got a video on YouTube that you want us to check out, I mean, I, I'd like to see exactly how people fish it um, because it's interesting to me. I don't understand how you catch fish on yeah. a Ned rig, but people love them. You got the, the mushroom head on there. It's just a basic Ned, or a Ned jig. Not really going to open it right now. And then... We got the Bait Mate... Bait Mate Fish Attractant Bite Stick Classic. Okay. This is actually... I've never used Fish Attractant before, but I've read up on uh, the Bait Mate style, and I'm actually looking forward to this. Pretty good. I could probably throw that on the uh, 
the uh, prop fish over there. Yeah. Smells like black licorice. Yeah. A little jealous of that too. I mean, I don't got <laughs> one. I've been I've been looking for them for a while. And I haven't been able to find them in stores. I'm probably going to order it off Tackle Warehouse or something. But that's very cool. Yeah. And those you put on hard baits, um, not soft baits, um, which is awesome. I mean, yeah. less mess as well. And you get to put a scent on your hard bait. I think it's really cool. So, yeah. Okay. And then last, we've got uh, the Throwback Lures Tokyo Special. So probably made in like, well obviously made in Japan, I would assume. It's got like a Japanese flag on there. Nope, actually I'm wrong. It's uh, it's made in China. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. On Japanese there. lure made in China. Yeah. Wouldn't you know it? All right. It's definitely like a sexy <laughs> shad color. Jerkbait. This one, actually, I'm probably going to use more recent than any of the other ones on there. With uh, yes. just it's starting to warm up a little bit. Oh, well, hopefully here in a little. Yeah. Let's see if we can get that open. Yeah. If y'all can see that, here we go. Definitely put it pretty slick. Yeah, it's just a, just a basic jerk bait, but I like the color of it. Yeah, probably three to five foot diver. Yeah, let's see if it actually says on here. I was not nope. saying anywhere on there, but yeah, I'm sure, like, looking yeah. at it. Pretty good design, though. I will say it has some good detail. Yeah. Looks like looks like it's going to work. It has a few rattles in there. Yeah. Pretty slick bait. Looking forward to that one, too. So, really, I'm, I got a couple good things in here. I'm looking forward yeah. to these. Definitely. Especially these two. Throw these two in there with some of the, uh, that bait stick. Or bait mate bite stick. And then, actually, we've got two more things in here It's not on there. A little bit of a tiger balm, lip balm. Got two of them in the box. Hey, you can't get chapped lips out in the water. You know, you can't be uncomfortable out there. Yeah. I mean, Especially I get, with us yeah. kayaking, if it's cold like this. Yeah. Kayaking or, out on the water. Know, well, yeah. You forget to bring some water, man. You got some chapstick. At least your lips don't get yeah. too bad. Sometimes we sit on the water like a, <laughs> yeah. like oh, wow. four or five hours at a time. I think yeah. we were out on that one lake for about six hours. Yeah. Yeah. Out in Damn Lake. Yep. So, yeah, that'd definitely be useful to bring. Uh, it's everything in the box as far as LTB goes. Well, I don't know. I mean, what do you think was the coolest bait out of both boxes? You know, I'm not trying to be biased towards and my I, box or anything. I knew he was going to grab this. <laughs> <laughs> I, Look at that thing. Yeah, I actually agree. I mean, it is the it's it's awesome. I mean, I mean, it's a it's a newer lure that came out, which is cool. I mean, I'm that's awesome that Lucky Tackle Box gave you that. Um, you know, Lunker Hunt makes good products, and I'm a firm believer in their stuff. I mean, they're a little bit weird. Usually, I stick to the classics just because I know I can catch fish, but I believe in Lunker Hunt. They prove me that they can make some products that really catch fish. Um, they make my favorite hollow body frog, so I'm definitely a little jealous of that one. Um, I will say that's probably the coolest bait out of both, but both boxes by far, but I have got to say that my box was better as a whole. Mainly because, yeah, you got two like high dollar. Yeah, I might. The value was definitely more in the MTB this yeah. month, but because of these two baits, along with a twelve pack of B bugs, which basically the B bugs, they're a beaver tail bait, more like it. Um, I don't know if you're y'all are familiar with the D bombs. So D bombs are my favorite trailers ever i love d bombs the d bombs the baby d bombs are great and these are very similar with the ribbed body um and i'm gonna get a lot of use out of them they're my favorite color okeechobee craw and i just think that they're gonna straight up catch fish uh so yeah i gotta say mtb was the better box this month what do you think yeah i'll give it to mtb yeah can i see your uh, lipless absolutely but we want to know what you guys think. We want y'all to comment below and tell us exactly what y'all think was the best box and what you think was the coolest bait out of both because I know some people won't agree. Some people don't like certain lures. Some people don't like top water. Some people don't like um, any prop lure, kind of like the, uh, um, what's it called, the the most famous one out there, the Whopper Plopper. I don't know why I couldn't think of it because it's so big right now, but, but people love that thing, but then some people just don't like it. You know, They think it's too easy of a, a lure to fish, which, I mean... I can see where you're coming from, but really, are you going to complain about catching some fish? Are you going to complain about a lure being too easy? 
I wouldn't. So, anyways, it's catching yeah. fish. It's catching fish. Yeah, catching fish is catching fish. I don't care if you think it's a cheap way to catch them. It's fun. It's part of the sport. You catch fish. But again, we want to know what you guys think. Um, I, I think both boxes had a great month, which is the first time in a while. This is the first month I will say that both boxes were phenomenal on both sides. Um, we're going to start doing this every month. Um, let us let us know what you think. And, and ask us any questions you want because we want some feedback from you guys. We want to know um, what you want to see from us because we, and whenever the weather warms up a little bit, we are going to start doing challenges between both boxes where we only use the baits in each box and we're going to see who is the real winner rather, rather than who we thought had the best box. We're going to see who actually catches more fish on the baits that came in the box. So we may bring this box back out um, in the springtime during the spawning season, but we'll see. You guys let us know. But thanks for tuning in to Pay the Water. Um, I think we're out. But thank you for watching. We see love you, you all. Yeah, and see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. We have a lot more coming your way.